Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for so much. Coming back once again, giving a great shout out to the YouTube family. Enjoying this beautiful day, even though it's hot, very hot down here. But I want to come back in this video and talk about God for a moment. And how God don't have to give us a reason for his actions. And my big brother K-Ray, you reminded me of this as we was talking earlier about King David. And I want to go back to 2 Samuel and going around chapter 24. Because a lot of people trying to figure out God. Think they can outthink God. Wonder why God do this. Why do God do this and do that? But God already told you, your ways is not his ways. Your thoughts is not his thoughts. And then some people trying to be God boss. Well, God don't answer to us. And we are not God's boss. And when you study 2 Samuel and get around chapter 24, you will see that David did something that messed it up for everybody. Hmm. Who incited David to take the census? Was it God or was it Satan? And I believe we all know the answer to that. And why was God so angry at David for taking the census? Hmm. See, when you start doing things that God tell you don't do, you'll find out God got a big problem with you when you do that. And why was it that God punished all that looked like Israel when it was David? Who ordered the census? Mm. See, you better thank God for grace and mercy. Ain't that right, Brother K. Ray? As we move on in this video and think about David and what he done. And a lot of people say, yes, it was Satan who incited David to take the census. Satan rose up against Israel and incited David to take a census of Israel. Well, you better know who's talking to you, God or Satan. This is where we mess up too. When you get to the book of first, what is that, Chronicles 21 and 1, it says, Then Satan stood against Israel and incited David to number Israel. Hmm. Oh, but however, the, the word of 2 Samuel 24 and 1, it says that the anger, I'm about to preach in a minute, oh, the anger of the Lord was kindled against who? Israel. And he incited David against them, saying, Go ahead and number Israel and Judah. Hmm. Says that it was God who moved David to take the census. I hope I didn't just confuse somebody when I asked the question, Who was it, David or Satan? Hmm. Each to their own on that answer. Y'all give me some feedback. And how when God say do one thing, see, the thing about God also is that. God uses Satan in various ways. Mm. Oh, somebody catch that later on. When, when, when you go back to the book of St. Luke, what happened with Simon? Y'all know the story. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you that he might sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, strengthen your brothers. See, God allowed Satan to tempt him. And David sinned. Oh, yes. David sinned plenty of times in the Bible. David wasn't a perfect man. But David was a man that, that would repent and say, Lord, have mercy on me. And that's another reason why David was a man after God's own heart. But as to why God was angry at David in these times, mm. see, a man who had the right to count or number what belonged to him, Israel did not belong to David. Why would you say that, JT? God used David. Israel belonged to God. Same thing like with Moses. When you go back to the book of Exodus, and, and he told Moses that when you take a census, of the Israelites to count them, each one must pay the Lord a ransom for his life at the time he is counted. And then what would happen then? No plague would come on them. When you number them, it was up to God to command the census. And if David counted, he should have only did what God told him, God's command. But we see David messed up. This is why God was angry with Israel and also with David. But why did the Lord punish all of them? Mm. 
And see, one thing about David, he knew that he was wrong. And he begged K. Ray. He begged God to, to take away that guilt of that sin. If you think I'm lying, go back to 2 Samuel 24 and 10. It says, but David's heart struck him after he had numbered the people. And David said to the Lord, I have sinned greatly. Lord, what have I done? But now, O oh Lord, please take away the iniquity of your servant. For I have done something very foolish. I have done something very wicked. What if we could repent like that? And what did God do after that, K-Ray? Oh, y'all got me feeling good in this video. God gave David, whoo, here it is right here. God gave David a choice of three punishments for his sin. And let me put a pen right there and pause. What if right now God would give us three punishments for the sin we have committed? And no, we got many sins. But what? let's just say, just let me use myself for an example. Here I am supposed to be doing what God told me, and I have messed up hard and went outside of what God told me to do and did my own will. And God says, okay, JT, I'm going to give you a choice of three punishments. But here is my punishments. He's going to give me seven years of famine. Whew. Three months of fleeing before his enemies. That's what he did to David. He's going to let all my enemies get at me. Or three days of plagues. Or what if he would say, I'm going to take away your hands so you can't play the keyboard no more. Ooh, that's deep, ain't it? Or he would say, JT, I'm going to take out your brother. Or JT, because of your sin, you will never be able to walk again. You will never be able to hear again. I'm going to punish. It's your choice. It's hard to pick out of that, ain't it, brothers and sisters? So when he told David, you got three a choice of three punishments for your sins. And the first one was seven years of famine. And then the next one was three months of fleeing before his enemies or three days of plague. You know which one David chose? The third. And what did he what did he do? He chose the third. And then the Lord punished Israel with a plague. Woo! And when God punished Israel with that plague, you know how many it killed up? 70,000 men. Killed 70,000 men from, from from what's my place called, Dan, in the north to the, it, it killed it killed 70,000 men from Dan in the north to Bathsheba in the south. Now the question is, as for why did God punish the whole nation for the sin of David? Hmm. David wanted to know the same thing. He asked in verse 17. He said, Why? When he was the one who had sinned, David said, why? Why did the people have to suffer? He even requested that God's hand be against him and his family only, and that God would spare the people. But as we go back to Job for a moment, God chose not to give a reason for his actions. To me, what I think, it could have been that because of Israel and their multiple sins, all the time, generation after generation, and rebelling against God, maybe it was that. But God don't answer to us, which brings you back to my title. God don't have to give us a reason why God do what God do, because it does say his ways are perfect. See, God can think way farther down the line than I can. So perhaps it was a lesson to the people and to us as well, you two family, that the people suffered when they lead us go astray. Uh-oh. Now I got to tie this in with the church. Why you think so many churches are suffering because of their leader? Leaders should finish strongly. And how if a pastor, bishop, whatever you want to call yourself, is over the over is is over the church and any and everything is going on, look at how many people are being hurt. The Psalms tells us that as for God, his way is perfect. Ours is not. I'm reminded of, of Psalms um, 18 and 30. It, it says this God, his way, God's way is perfect. The word of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all those who take refuge in him. God's ways is perfect. But we sit here and try to outthink God. Hmm. We think we know what's best for us. When we just barely waking up in the morning, you better thank God for that. So as we can see in 2 Samuel in chapter 24, 
God was grieved because of the things that were happening to his people. And he called off the punishment if you keep reading. Even though his rebuke, God still shows his love and mercy. David messed it up for everybody. That was a lesson to learn. And when you are following these weak leaders, hmm, you're in bad shape. He said, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts way higher than your thoughts. You have to understand that God is all-knowing. When he created the beginning, he already knew the ending. That's why God is God. And God don't need our help trying to help him out. We need him. Somebody catch that later on. So that's why God was angry at David for taking the census. You start, who told you to count, David? Who told you to start numbering people? Oh, I'm going to leave this alone, K-Ray, because it's getting too good for me. Didn't want to make this video that long. I was trying to keep it under 12 minutes. Peace and remain blessed.